will 2019 be the year I come into alignment with my blue print? This indicates you don't think that you are in alignment with your blue print. And because of obstacles and challenge, just because there are obstacles and challenges within the physical body and resources and perceived loss of uh, opportunity or upward momentum, just because this happens doesn't mean you're not where you ought to be on the blueprint. And spirit would say to you, you are precisely where you need to be on the blueprint. And what you are looking for is an amplification of the powerful energy of who it is that you are, meaning that you would be able to demonstrate and serve at a higher level with full capacity all the resources in place that you need. And is this going to be coming into the experience? Yes. Everything that has led you to this moment has been anointed. That even that includes the difficulties. It includes the trials in the physical body as well, because all of this has brought through an awareness for you that has expanded your understanding of what this life entails, how to navigate this life, and this helps you ultimately to help others who go through and who have been through the same thing. So all of this is for the edification and the enrichment. And it's much more simple than you would think it is. It's much more simple. Simplify, simplify, simplify. All you have to do is be love. And it starts with self. All you have to do is love yourself. Love your life. All you have to do is find ways to express the love that originates within you to you and outside of you, and all things arrange themselves spontaneously from there. You're in a perfect position to do this. The only obstacle is within yourself, and it's a perception. It's maya. It is illusion. It's not real. Just as I said to the person before, you are already that. Well, to you, I say, you are already there. <laughs> you are already there. For some of the most holy, game-changing, planet-shifting personalities ever to have incarnated on this planet. Well, almost all of them. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hard-pressed to think of one that this is not true regarding. All of them have had trials, and some of them have been monstrous. And John of the Cross, anybody? He wrote Dark Night of the Soul. He was a priest who was thrown into a year, I, don't, I can't recall exactly, a year of intense torture at the hands of his brothers in his own priesthood. Didn't know what the hell was going on, thought he was doing everything right, loved God, and through the pain of his life, he wrote The Dark Night of the Soul, Game Changer. How through the suffering of our lives and we've all suffered and and I know you've suffered this year and I've suffered too not like that but it's all relative anyway to the life experience but through suffering comes great understanding of life and an ability to reach people who suffer and so many people suffer so many people suffer this is all to say that you are already there it's perfect nothing is out of order if anything is out of order it's within the perception and that is your filter. It's not actual reality. It's the filter through which you perceive reality. Work on the filter, work on the love and everything, and, and you see things entirely different. And then you can use the stuff that you've been given. My previous abuses and traumas and fuck-ups, and I've had a few, oh, more than a few, my abuses to others, all of this has been for my edification so that I can learn through that and I can actually use these as tools. You too, Jody. It makes me powerful in what I do. And it makes you powerful in what you do. So is the question that you're gonna do it on a higher level, higher platform? Yeah, you're gonna do it. You're already, that's what it's all been about. <laughs>